always <laughs> changing our language in what's said. I mean, just think of terms that we've added over the last two years, COVID-19, yeah, social right. distancing, yeah. you know, the, the mask idea, even Zoom. All of these terms are new to our, our cultural lexicon. Yeah. And, yeah. and they inter then they change how we think, how we know, how we go about language. But some still say, well, you know, the Bible cuts through all that. Well, it does, but you still need translation because last I checked, you're not reading in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. Yeah. So anytime let's, first, you translate language, right? Yeah. Let, let's you first use a non controversial, uh, or relatively non controversial uh, example before using a more controversial example. Sure. You know, back when the King James was originally done, you distinguished in English between uh, second person singular and second person plural, you know, you or thou. <laughs> yeah. and, and so one of the, the new King James version, when it does its good work, it gets rid of the you, thou, and it obscures kind of the distinction which Hebrew has uh, between- By just saying you? Yeah, by just saying you. You just say you for singular because we don't say thou anymore in every day. We Latin. should bring it back. <laughs> thou thou in this podcast <laughs> yeah <laughs> some words we need to bring back tripper we need to bring some of this stuff back because king well, james uh, praying to king james is awesome i feel like i'm in the glory of heaven when the king james gets prayed well it is funny at least uh when i first became a christian how people would kind of revert in prayer to thou and these sometimes yeah but um but the more controversial issue uh, uh, over the past 20 years is the change in the English language when it comes to gender neutral language, you know, so mm. it's like, uh, um, and there are people who feel that, um, that to uh, use non uh, gendered um, references to refer to context when men and women are both met is some kind of capitulation to feminism. And I, I would differ with them, or I would actually say that perhaps, you know, feminism isn't uh, all bad. It pointed out some problems that we yeah, need. And disparities <laughs> in between. Yeah, the, yeah. The hard part is knowing where to walk that line. Yeah. Because there, yeah. there is that part where we are gendered as individuals yeah. oh, and yeah. women but there is a part where and again this is the cultural part where we're responding to abuses that have been done and yeah. we want to show and highlight uh something that has often been neglected and that's the role of women within the early early church and yeah. and within yeah. christianity in general but again you're we're talking about a cultural response which is good I, I, we because we do want to draw attention to that. We do want to show the the value of of women and that they are distinct. I think that's what we're trying yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. But well, it, yeah. it's just interesting how that's been brought out today. Whereas other cultures, of course, that was a just kind of kicked by the wayside. Yeah, and and so in terms of Bible translation, um, you know, when men and women are both men, I what is it Genesis one twenty eight? Maybe it's twenty seven. You know. Uh, God created m uh, men and women, male and female, uh, in his image. Um, oh, shoot. God created humankind. Well, the question is, do you translate uh, God created um, men in his image, male and female, he created them? Or do you translate it, God created humankind or something like that, a non-gendered term in the first colon, when the second colon is making it clear that male and women are both men. Wait, male and women are both men? I mean, men and women are both men. Okay, okay you're freaking me out there, Tripper. <laughs> you're freaking me out there. I know, like, I know, I know. Too, I'm doing too much, too much grading, too much grading. <laughs> Speaking of grading, I heard... I heard one guy, I, I just read this the other day, and they said that, you know, uh, one one student made a comment. And they said, I have to write this lousy paper. And the professor said, you might have to write one lousy paper, but I have to grade 90 lousy papers. <laughs>